hi guys uh, in this tutorial i will let you know about service now system administration three day course topic outline so what all topics are required to learn to clear the service now administration certification first we have uh, module one that is uh, core configuration and user interface in this module we will learn about all the configurations and what all user interfaces are in ServiceNow so you can change the, your interface of ServiceNow according to your uh, business needs according to your needs so objective of this module is configure navigation user interface search and branding options manage incidents problem and chain list and forms we will also activate plugins and use service now mobile platform so this is the objective of so i will not let you i will not teach you anything i will not train you anything in this particular uh, presentation in this particular video but i am just going to tell you about what all topics are needed to learn to clear the service now administration certification we have here UI that is user interface essentials lab that is configure navigation user interface search branding options we have configuration essential lab so above point is user inter interface what all needs you can navigate you can search you can search the brandings according to your organization then configuration essential labs it's manage incident problem change lists and forms and activate plugins another one is mobile platform lab use the service now mobile platform on smartphone and tablet devices so this will let you know about it next module is module 2 its user administration this particular uh, module is related to user perspective yeah. so if, if you want to give any 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 change in kind of administration any kind of activity which is related to the user perspective that comes into the mod this module and basically objective is configure user accounts groups and roles because every user in service now is related to particular group and they have some roles so user administration lab it's add users add new group automatically associated with the new user record assign roles to a group and add users to new groups create and test new assignment rule so if you are assigning assigning any rule to particular user we can learn all these things in this particular module now next is module 3 that is data management so definitely as service now is basically based on database so whatever you just have an interface in front of you and uh, whatever you are putting in uh, action you, you are performing any action it it acts at the background as a query it it runs a query at the background it pull, pulls up the data for you so that how it works here we will work with app creator we will create the applications we will import data and add configuration items to the cmdb and what is cmdb is configuration management database it's it's hard for example i can i can just let you know about what exactly cmdb is so for example in any organization when you set up service now so we have different assets in our organization whether it's a desktop whether it's a server whether it's a network devices like switch gear whatever these are all assets of that organization and what we do as a service now perspective to maintain those data that because we have to name name all those devices so what we do 
we provide names to those particular devices for example we have a switch which is in in, in location of India or New York anywhere so for example I am providing a name to a particular switch as IND switch 1A and we have two switches I can assign second name is IND switch 1B so I will assign a configuration item yes so this is all configuration it's all database management which I can do with the help of CMDB so all the configuration item in this particular things we can learn we will learn about tables and app creator it's a lab we will create new tables we will create applications and their modules import set we will work with import sets and transform maps that means for example if I want to import some external data into service now so that will help that will be helped through import set lab that is work with import sets the second thing is CMDB lab that means add and map CIs analyze problem using BSN map next module 4 is service automation platform it's all about automation it's it's all about automation what exactly for example if it, it, it works depends on needs yes so uh, we will work with key service now platform applications their functionality their knowledge base service catalog workflow SLAs and reporting tools so knowledge base lab it's it will create and attach knowledge base articles so I'm also working as a knowledge manager in my organization and uh, I have because I have different roles over it I'm also service now administrator and uh, I also as a as ITIL role I also have a different role that that is assigned to me that is knowledge manager so where I can create articles I can edit knowledge base articles and knowledge base is, is, is it's it's a baseline it's it's a need of every organization because uh, if we are working in a support environment we, we need to have uh, knowledge articles if I have an application if I have a server I should have information about that particular application and how many users are there where exactly that particular is hosted uh, how we can access it so this is this kind of information we can store that information and we can create a knowledge base article now another we have service catalog lab in this service catalog lab we will learn about how to create catalog items we will add variables we will create service catalog order guide so for example in your organization uh, you want to have uh, software installed in your computer or for example if your organization has a good mobile it's a mobile application for uh, emails email configuration so that you can get your emails with the app with the help of applications in your uh, mobile and you can just access emails of your organization so if you want to access that particular uh, mobile app if you, if, because for that you need to have a different uh, codes security codes so until you will place an order you will get the code then only you can access that particular application in your mobile so that how that how it goes then we have workflows we will create different workflow and approvals also workflow is like that um, I think you, you will definitely understand about the name which exactly it's replicating um, it, it's, it's a kind of a notification it's a kind of a flow for example uh, I'm, I'm, I'm taking example of a service now SLA perspective so if I want uh, if my SLA uh, time got passed about uh, 50 percentage I want my manager to be notified if 75 percent of time has passed then I want my vice president of my or my director or any higher leadership to be notified for that particular incident so that will go 
through workflow what exactly you want you are, you can put the conditions so it has different uses and we will learn it in the different training sections now we have sla's lab define an sla for catalog request and then we have reports lab you can run reports you can we can work with gauges and home pages so service now has also ability to run reports because we have different things we have incidents we have problems we have changes we have configuration items we have different servers uh, what all incidents got breached so you can run different reports you can schedule also them so we have different actions which we can do through that particular reporting thing so that's also a good thing to learn next is module 5 that is core application administration that means as we already discussed earlier that we can create applications and modules so in this section we will learn about application administration so if we are opening if you are creating an application like incident then what all things we can create in the in the particular form of incident we should have priority we should have uh, caller we should have impact we should have caller location we should have uh, incident state we should have, we should have incident number so this all comes in the application administration and if you want to put any uh, business rules so for example if your uh, incident is going to be in a resolved state then you can make that particular thing in some some fields into mandatory state now uh, next so under this module we will learn about ui policies that means user interface policies data policies user interface actions business rules and client scripts configuration application security work with events and notifications and we have different sections we have policies and infraction lab which will let us know about work with ui policies data policies ui actions business rules and client scripts application security lab that will let you let us know about provide application and module access for a specified role for example i just told you about knowledge manager so i am it's a knowledge management it's a kind of an application which you have different modules like create an application open application open articles published articles retired articles these are all modules now i have the role to access that particular uh, applications then only i can access that now we can create an access control rule to allow read access create an access rule control rule to restrict column read access now notification slab observe a business rule and registry associated with the p1 change event create a notification based upon a business rule configure and send an email notification or create an sms notification so it's a kind of notification that if something happened uh, something changes been done into the in particular tickets then you are being notified or whether it's a ticket or it's a change whatever so you can uh, assign some business rules so for example if i want if any ticket is assigned to my group then i can create then i can create a business rule and a notification so whenever an incident will be created and it will assign to me or my group i will be notified as an email now next module is ongoing maintenance so it's kind of whatever maintenance goes with the service now so you have to manage all these because you have to update things you have to uh, perform uh, because definitely it's 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 a kind of application so definitely a service now as a company they provides us different updates because they also update their version they also uh, if, if we have any loopholes we have any issues in in the previous versions they also provided hot fixes updates upgrades 
so in this section we do exactly that part so we create and apply update sets learn about upgrade process and release cycle record baseline performance statistics and use social IT capabilities so we have update set lab create then retrieve an update set trades performance and troubleshooting lab confirm release upgrade status edit new build notifications review baseline statistics social IT lab configure live live feed to automatically post high priority incidents so we have live feeds of feeds also and the last part is module 7 that is case study case study is what whatever we have learned we have to perform those activities so I will definitely let you know in my in my particular blog section video blog you will definitely find uh, videos related to my training in which uh, I will let you know about all the case studies which I am talking about and which will definitely help you in uh, clearing the certification of service now so it's, it's, it's divided into eight task categories as guide to deployment so we will add users groups and roles then customize an instance import users we will schedule reports add a knowledge base article we will personalize home page and we will configure security and we will display external web pages so if I want to display any external web page on my service now so how to do that we will learn in, in this particular task so this was all about ServiceNow administration three day course training yeah that happens in ServiceNow it's a three day course training for clearing ServiceNow certification uh, but, but, but as we know that's a paid training so I will definitely I will definitely uh, I'm just preparing some presentation good presentations for you so that I can uh, show you in a video and uh, we will definitely we will definitely learn all those uh, all those topics so you will get it soon just just keep liking my uh, blog uh, I have just started the uh, this uh, new thing for me yeah so and uh, and thanks thanks for watching my video and uh, have, have a nice day bye bye